24th of April 2013, a developer on RPGMaker.net uploaded this children's game to the website. The creator, going by the alias of Phoenix, tucked away a secret path that remained unbeknownst to players for several years. A secret path that after being found within the game would lead players into giving away their actual names and home addresses, which ultimately led into what some people have alleged as real life indoctrinations to a cult, and possibly kidnappings. Within a month of the game's release, it received massive coverage. Articles by Rolling Stone, Vice, The Hollywood Reporter, and many more. Even by one of my closest friends, Video Game Donkey. Just kidding, he doesn't know I exist, but I wish he did. You gotta fight Tupac now? You deactivating me again, punk? I'm a thug for life. Aw, oh, no, even a clone of Tupac is still balling. That shit, we're gonna have to dish his ass. That did nothing. That did literally no damage. It's a good thing that I have. It appealed to meme lovers, teens, and Kanye fans alike. With over 10,000 downloads to date, it might not be breaking AAA records, but a free-to-play independent RPG maker game unexposed to physical and online retailers, these numbers broke records. Playing through it seems innocent enough. Comes with what you might expect from a role-playing game revolving around the future, rapping, clones, and based gods. A comical, meme-filled adventure through the eyes of Yeezus. However, early in the game, one of the characters will ask the question, What do you want to do? And as an answer, you're prompted to type back a response. And usually the character will say the word you typed back to you in a sentence as a joke. But after two years, one player discovered when prompted for the written response that inputting the word ascend will cause the game to momentarily freeze and subsequently execute the following functions. Congratulations, you've proven yourself to be an open-minded and curious thinker. We must apologize for deceiving you, but we can reveal that the game you were playing until this point was a front, constructed to protect what you are currently accessing. We must ask that you do not reveal this area to the public. If you believe that you may be prone to revealing information, or do not wish to participate, please close this program immediately by pressing Alt F4 or selecting the No option when it appears. By selecting the Yes option, you agree to participate and not reveal information. Do you wish to participate? If you select yes, the following is a thought exercise designed to teach you something beneficial. By undertaking this exercise, you will hopefully be affected in a positive way. Due to the nature of the exercise, this something cannot be revealed immediately. This exercise may or may not be restricted to this software. It is important to remember that the purpose of this exercise is to benefit you. You will not be timed. We cannot provide any more information except that we wish you good luck. You may now begin. Welcome to your ascension. Disturbing to say the least. The player would then be placed in a level with consecutive horizontal hallways, each section locked off from the previous, with interactive terminals spread throughout that display a Roman numeral and eight blank spaces. The door south of this area leads you to a four square room with walls designed around a mural of varying white and gray blocks, that of which when you screenshot each quadrant and puzzle them together, reveals a QR code that would lead the user to this web link, which now can no longer be reached. Not even by the Wayback Machine. If you listen carefully to the background music, you'll be able to hear voices in the sound file. Personally, I still can't make anything out of what's being said, but maybe you can. Let us know in the comments if you do. Moving forward, when opening the game's files in RPG Maker and dipping into the event scripts, you can find the hidden passwords for the terminals. Bingo. Jagatai, Patoons, Bolivia, IN, Inscribe, Flacon, Armco, Fife, Ties, Snowless, Indicter, a berry, Sembrich, Unspun, Isadora, Popover, Idle, Brian, Dem, Lude, Financed, Kuzgo, Vanadied, Hatch, Sulkier, Afoot, Mayan, 
Aconitic, Truth, Greedier, Capeskin, and Ogden. The relation between these words and the significance they represent is unknown, but when searching for them in a web browser, you'll find a form of users struggling to solve a seemingly unrelated puzzle, which we will get back to later. Before continuing onward, if we backtrack to the room with the QR code, you'll notice a singular terminal and a pattern on the floor appears as you step over it, revealing this symbol. Remember this. Once you've entered all the passwords into the corresponding terminals, the following happens. JFZZ JNMS emerged. One last terminal, the password of which is Micropia. You've proven your worth once again. You have ascended. However, further ascension is always possible. If you do not wish to ascend further, your journey ends here. So please close this program by pressing Alt F4 or selecting the No option above. By selecting the Yes option, you agree to participate further and you grant us permission to interact with your possessions. Would you like to participate? If you choose No, you get sent to the title screen. But if you choose Yes... Over the following two week time period, we will interact with you and your possessions in several ways. Keep an eye out, as some of these ways may be subtle. Others may not be. We may attempt to contact you directly. If we do this, we will attempt to notify you of our presence using a key word. If you still consent to participation, please select the Yes option above. Do you wish to participate? It gives you a form that asks for your first and last name, country, city, zip code, street name, and house number. Please wait. Thank you, Max. Enjoy the next two weeks and await instruction. I do not recommend doing this yourself. Sending your information to an unidentifiable organization may lead to severe real-life consequences. But I know many of you are curious what happens to those who do. So that's why Mama's doing this for you. So you don't have to. I have sent them my real name and address, and will await their instruction, as they say. So two weeks have passed, I've been exceedingly keen on receiving any message, either subtle or obvious, and if I'm being honest, I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary. I've received no packages or mail, no visits from strangers or unknown parked cars on my driveway, no severed horse heads in my bed or anything of the sort. But it appears as if my version of the game is not utilizing any network connection. Ergo, it isn't going anywhere. This might be due to the fact that my version of Kanye Quest 3030 doesn't originate from the official website, as that one is now blocked by password protection. Or maybe it's the fact that RPG Maker VX Ace games don't inherently support online capabilities, the same engine that Kanye Quest utilizes. Looking into the game's code, nothing is done with this information. It is not sent anywhere. Yet the game is scripted to wait a few seconds in order to pretend to send the info the rabbit hole does not end here. Do not breathe relief yet. We have a lead. Let me show you the last few seconds of the official release trailer of the game, which has remained untouched throughout the years. Did you see that? When conducting an image search, the symbol leads back to several cult websites, all which go by one name, Ascensionism. A new age cult dating back to as far as 2006, the fundamental convictions are based upon the theory of divine ascension, 
which states some rigmarole of how the human soul can climb higher in the realm of existence but can become corrupt over an undefined amount of eons before achieving godhood. Others speculate more crucially, however, based on their angel fire page. They believe that the human body is an easily disposable shell with its only purpose to house the soul, and before your birth, your soul forms packs of every being that you will encounter in your life, which then leads to the ideology that any harm done to you was agreed upon by your soul during a contractual agreement with another soul before you were born. So in short, they believe if something bad happens to you, you asked for it. Your soul agreed to it. This then justifies any harm they may perpetrate against you. Even the most vile acts of crime can be justified in their eyes. Because as they see it, you deserve it. You wanted it. Your souls made that agreement. So if they kidnap you, do unspeakable things to you, and end your life, they may feel in the right to do so. A childlike RPG Maker game marketed towards young teens was, this whole time, an alleged recruitment method for a cult that many claim holds a belief system, romanticizing death and justifying evil actions. Adding on to this, on the 28th of January 2015, the first public discovery was posted by an anonymous user on pastebin.com, who thoroughly reported their findings that of which has been the primary source of information regarding the hidden secrets of the game thus far. Undoubtedly, our first suspect. An anonymous user with no voice, no face, no contact info, who chose to use the widely unfamiliar and untraceable domain of Pastebin, rather than unfiction, Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, etc. Protecting one's own privacy is their right, especially when faced with a potentially malicious entity but my skepticism remains nonetheless. According to Anonymous's investigation, at the same time of the game's release, there was a YouTube channel running a separate alternate reality game using the same words as the terminal passwords in Kanye Quest. This brings us back to the forum page investigating a puzzle of a certain YouTube video. One that after a manifold of digging and asking around, appears to have been saved nowhere on the internet that I can find. Save for these frames. The text, by my eyes, are indecipherable without the proper tools to do so. Skills that are beyond my pay grade. But there is one thing I can read. Recognize it? J-F-Z-Z-J-N-M-S. The unfiction thread on this is 72 pages of investigations. No more than 50 people conducting calls to a secret hotline requesting passwords for authorization, deciphering steganographic pieces of strange music, pictures, and strings of code, decrypting hidden data matrices and QR codes embedded within the files, translating radio broadcasts and email messages for code words, decoding binary, Morse code, and riddles to attain GPS drop locations that led to blueprints of certain items. And the list goes on. Is this Cicada 3301? Since there's no way I'll be able to fit in the colossal amount of information inside this video, I'll include the links in the description if you want to read on. But what you need to know is that this thread started only two months after the official release of Kanye Quest, that they are both linked together by connecting websites, keywords, and imagery, and that this was all going on two years before the Kanye Quest cult discovery was made. And now we know who the mastermind is. One clever analyst found a donation link on their website, and gave one penny to retrieve the recipient's PayPal information, which gives a full name and email address. For the sake of privacy, I will be referring to this person as Lyons. My attempts to make contact with him through Facebook, Skype, and email so far have proved fruitless. But what can we conclude from all of this information? The evidence implies, or at least those who'd gathered it, are claiming that this YouTube video, as well as Kanye Quest 3030, are very real recruitment methods utilized by a sect of this ascensionism cult. I've my doubts. An elaborate joke made by a troll developer is much more likely the case in my eyes. But I don't distrust that the cult does not exist. It would appear very real, with faithfully devout members, made clear when you start to dig into their social media pages. Ascensionism.com, a site that, suspiciously, 
may harm your computer. It leads to a philosophical passage, four seemingly independent web links, and a search bar. 13202 Ascend. A phone number that, when dialed, gives the repeated phrase, Become an Ascensionist today. The Ascend radio station, broadcasting a series of encrypted codes. Ascensionism Center. Gallery. Culpa Resident. A website, rebranded as Ascensionism Records, crawling with hidden pages and download links. Intriguingly, one that leads to an executable known as Calypso, which we will get to shortly. A Facebook. Archived images exhibit what look to be documented laws, badges, and symbols. A YouTube channel. Entire albums of music created and published by Lions were posted here. The likes of which, well, listen for yourself. <laughs> Finally, a Twitter. Their abnormal use of the English language, paired with phrases like the bomb attacks and mass murder, don't inspire a lot of enthusiasm for your average everyday human being. Later on, it would be taken over by what looks like a bot vomiting variables of arbitrary words and phrases from the internet, occasionally leading back to other unnamed source material, but I personally don't see any relevance. There was also an artist being promoted by the Twitter account, by the name of Orlovsky, who, when spoken to, responds with maniacally written sentences, to no result. Courtesy of Psychotrip, however, images of his conversation with them show that their posts are intended to keep in touch with their followers, and nothing more than that. I don't know what kind of person would entertain a cult mindlessly tweeting half hazardly generated conglomerations of words. But you might be surprised by the level of naivety some people have. Just taking a glance at the likes and replies to their tweets from follower accounts, and subsequently creeping on those pages, displays what looks to be the ramblings of junkies, or maybe the mentally ill. I've tried making contact with them, but even the currently active ones don't respond, or don't want to talk. There are, however, a number of other follower accounts designed and dressed analogously to the original. Ascend Disciple, Ascend Simple, Ascend Acolyte, Ascend Sigil, Ascend Senses, Ascend Redeem. It's all the same story. A handful of tweets telling you to ascend, and nothing more than that. But the interactions between each of them is a lot more interesting. Unlike the charade of nonsense they display in their public tweets, these are real conversations being had. A few in particular caught my attention. I was at first extremely skeptical at the cult hypothesis, and honestly believed this was just another ARG, nothing more than a game. That was until I saw this. One user by the name of Mark requested approval from the main Ascension Records Twitter account for their GoFundMe project, which was then successfully funded with $1,000 cult membership comes with its own perks, it seems. The details of the project aren't available, and the video is removed completely. But there's others too that are more unnerving. A reply by a send sigil to another account, how can we help find her, brings us to a thread which appears to be a group of users looking for someone by the name of Anne, who previously went missing. A young woman who claims she has been living within the confines of the Ascensionist cult for 10 years with who she describes as prophets and elders. In her descriptions of the cult, she repeatedly mentions a man named Jackson and their daily activities, which involves marches, drills, sirens, taking special vitamins or medical compounds, and finally, protecting their home or rescuing missing family members. But over the course of several months, ever since her disappearance, Someone named Jackson has been using her account to communicate with the other members to find her. The prophets aren't pleased. She can't hide forever. Don't feel so safe. You won't be for long. Jackson. After some deliberation, however, 
I'm going to conclude that this is probably an unrelated ARG storyline occurring, inspired by the real one. As you can see later, Anne just says, It's been a while. Hoping I'm far enough away for now. Maybe one day I'll be able to laugh about this. Anne. I don't know in what world you'd prefer tweeting on the cult account that the other members have access to, instead of going directly to the police, but to each their own, I guess. Which leads me back to the follower Ascend accounts. After getting in contact with some of them, I soon learned that they are not actual cult members, but people who are just playing the ARG. For the sake of brevity, I've summarized what was said, but conversations with former Ascend Twitter account users told me this. Some of us came from the forum, and some of us came from Kanye Quest. We contacted them through their Twitter, where they held contests by posting images of tenants we were to obey and tasks we were to complete. We would be direct messaged if we were chosen. The prerequisite was to change our profile picture to the Ascensionism eye and our banner to match that of the Twitter page. Next, some of us were told to cut a letter into an apple, and others were told to hold a medal under running water. As we completed a task, we would receive a reward and ascend up in rank according to this diagram of the eye. Rewards included a hidden album, but then with their last task, no one participated, because now they were asking us for where we lived. We were supposed to attend one of their ascensionism centers as they call them, sending us an image of what looks to be a sensory deprivation tank. And when we were asked for our addresses to direct us to the nearest one, we abstained. Shortly after, they ended communication with us. Whether anyone actually participated is largely unknown. It's worth mentioning that the Ascensionism Records Twitter account reached out to those who exposed them on social media and denied all claims of connections to Kanye Quest, ARGs, and cult affairs. That they are nothing more than a record label. Calypso, their official video game. Downloading the contents from their website, you're met with a solitary executable. Running the program and starting the game, you're placed on a labyrinthian island made up of mazes. Curious that it's also made an RPG maker, same as Kanye Quest. You're given duties given in crazy speak, to perform monotonous tasks to make money, some of which includes changing your clothes, sleeping in bed, and listening to voicemails left by real people who called the Ascension Hotline. Hi, this is Reginald. Uh, please call me back at... Thank you. Bye. Snowless Bravo, Light Storm. Snowless Charlie, Light Storm. This is absurdus. You know I'm still in this. Send me a message. You got my email. Send... Man, M A N, eight five four. Phone number. Time for contact. Earning money is then used to purchase what they call ascension package levels in game, which seemingly do nothing but perpetuate the idle game mechanic of earning more money to purchase higher ascension packages. As far as I'm concerned, the message of it is borderline impenetrable. And according to everyone who's played it, data mining the game gives no insight into anything more than this. Presumably, it was abandoned before bringing anything interesting to the table. But it does lead to one very revealing piece of information. Copyright. At Ascensionism Records. 2016. After some digging, the copyright registration form for one Ascensionism Records emerged before us. Owned by... You know who. Lions. Under Australia. In partnership with an Orlowski. But what's this? Their Australian business number is no longer active. In fact, cancelled on the 9th of January of 2019. They have vanished completely, removing every last trace of themselves they could find. Some blame it because the original thread on unfiction.com went down with the site after the web host ran out of money to keep it up. Others say it was negative feedback from overexposure and witch hunting. Whatever it was, around the same time, 
the Kanye Quest 3030 RPG Maker page vanished. All that's left is the original Tumblr, hidden by an unknown password. I should mention that there is an upcoming but completely separate ARG called Ascension, which has no relation to Kanye Quest or Ascensionism records. The last lead we have is Crazy22. Who is Crazy22, you ask? He's another developer on RPGMaker.net. He was the first comment on the Kanye Quest 3030 game. His account was created exactly six days before the game was first published. His location? Minnesota. The exact same as the Ascend hotline, as well as one of the GPS coordinates from one of the puzzles. Coincidentally, the name of one of Lion's songs, and what kind of comment is Lol 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 what? I like it, swag. Appearances may be deceiving, especially on the internet, but to me this looks like a self-served comment. Diving deeper into the profile we'll find a link to a YouTube channel. Two of them, actually. The current link on the still existing profile leads to a channel of a struggling RPG maker developer, which I've attempted to make contact through, to no avail as of yet. The second, an archived version of his profile, that of a self-proclaimed Asian male linking to a YouTube channel known as Woody Fruity, a League of Legends streaming channel with 50,000 subscribers. Once again, my attempts at contact bear no yields as of yet, probably all coincidences anyway. All that remains are archived puzzle pieces salvaged by those who investigated it before me. Left behind by an underappreciated artist, a faceless yet extremely intelligent human being who spent six long years crafting this extraordinary story with its mystifying puzzles and games, yet there remain so many unanswered questions. You want theories? That's for you to decide. But I do know that I can empathize with being an underappreciated artist. It is one of the most heartbreaking and soul-crushing occupations because of it. Giving up starts to seem better than working hard for seemingly nothing. And that's not to say Lyons and his partners gave up, but it's hard not to infer. There's nothing more depressing than watching the one thing you've put the most passion into burn right before your eyes, and watch the world walk past it as if it never did exist. And Lyons, if you're watching this, if you ever come back, I'll be waiting here for you for part two. Are y'all motherfucking ready for these bars? If you want these bars, give to my Patreon. Here we go. Audio air, you've got no balls. Grow a pair. Ooh. Sky 69, I hope you step on an explosive mine. <laughs> Sir Atlich, more like Sir Fat Bitch. No, no, doki doki, I hope you die lonely choking. That was fucking good. Underdog, suck my cock. <laughs> Silfet, fuck you. Thank y'all for your donations, and have a great day.